What's up everyone, Steve here again from RC Tanks and Trucks 24-7 and what I have here is the G-Tech Me Creator 2. It's an awesome pre-built 3D printer. Now, the reason why I like this printer was it's because it's all pre-built and it has a small form factor. It's just over 300 millimeters or just over 12 inches in uh, these two directions and about 360 millimeters or 13 inches high, which is excellent. It's made out of steel, very solid and it's a great price. I got it from GearBest, link is in the description down below, so go check it out if you're interested. Now, I always wanted a 3D printer and I thought this would be a great way to get into it, so I'm really excited. I'm a newbie, so this will just be going at me, not knowing what I'm doing, uh, doing everything for the first time, I'm going to be showing you guys while I do it. Now, if you've got any hints and tips, please leave them down in the comment section. Definitely be interested to know, because, you know, it's my first go, so really excited, but... Uh, can't wait to try it out. In this video, I'll unbox it, see what you get, configure it, all that kind of good stuff. Do my first print and then uh, we'll see how we go. Blade is blunt. Now the good thing about this printer, it's all pre-assembled, which is fantastic. Something that I was, I was really looking forward to in a printer, something I just plug in and uh, learn a bit of the uh, basics of 3D printing, but maybe later on down the track, once I get a bit more involved, to get something a bit more advanced, but this is pretty good. It's all ready to rock and roll. Checklist and a manual, which is always good. Here we go. Okay, so it's sandwiched in between here, and it's awesome. It's quite small, actually. I'm, I'm really happy about that, because I haven't got too much room in here. This is just something to get me started in the uh, 3D hobby. There we go. Sweet. Okay, now we've removed some of the foam around the actual unit. It's got some nice cable ties here holding everything together, which is good to see. Cut away from the wires, I think that'd be pretty smart. Got a wire here that's loose, but I'll figure out where that goes later on. Great, good packaging actually, a lot of foam and everything to protect it. We've got another piece of, it's like painter's tape, or the, that's what it feels like, but it's actually for the bed, so if this one's not too good, there's a little bit of a scratch in there, I can tear that one off and put this one back down, which is really good. I'm glad they uh, included that. Now on the bed here, you'll see there's actually a test print. If we can take it off, so they made sure everything works before they sent it away. So it's a test print and it does look nice. Pretty cool. Now I don't know much about 3D printing, but that quality seems okay. But uh, definitely be finding out how to print and what are the best settings later on. Now we've got a power cord, another bag of goodies. In this packet, you get the spool holder, USB cable from, the, from this to the computer, a few hardware, sample or you know some PLA to get you going which is good I've got to buy a spool if any of you guys know what good uh, PLA to use leave it down in the comment section down below because I wouldn't really have a clue oh and we get a pen now there's acrylic pieces for the spool holder I got this paper on both sides so I'll just peel all this off and I'll, I'll put the spool holder together and I'll show what it looks like now making this spool holder is really easy you got two of these sides and one base plate you got six of these hex head screws you just put them in the into these recesses here you place one nut down there and it locks it in and you just screw it down very easily nothing to it so i'll put this all together and i'll show how it looks at the end and there is a completed filament holder with a supplied filament that you get and it's easy just to pop it off you just pull one of these plumbing pieces out and you're ready to go not bad as you can see it comes with blue painters tape on the bed but it was a bit damaged. I guess you could leave it on there if you wanted to, if yours wasn't chipped or marked, but I'm just gonna take the old one off. Very easy to do. Just like that. And the good thing about it, you get this included new uh, sheet for the bed here. Exactly the size it needs to be. So I'm not too sure how long this lasts, but this feels exactly like painter's tape. As well. Sorry if my head's in the way guys, but I have to get a nice clean line of sight, line up the edges, and make sure this is relatively flat. Now if you're interested in this printer, it's from GearBest, and I will leave the link in the description so you can go check it out if you like. And there are so many different types of printers you can get now. 
ones you can pre-build like the Anet A8 or A6 I believe and Tony from CCXRC has had a really good build video of that so if you want to go check that out go check out uh, his channel his video it's pretty awesome but I decided to go for a different route with uh, this pre-built style and uh, see how we go very nice so don't really care if it's a little bit jagged on the edge here because the the print doesn't go all the way to the edge anyway it's 160 by 160 this print volume and this bed is about 180 so it won't go out to there now on the back it's very very simple hardly any wires this one comes disconnected from the factory so all you need to do is plug that one in there and also with your power cable that is it also your usb cable plugs in the back here and that's it the thing i like about this one it's very neat no uh wires hanging out everywhere everything is nice and compact into this uh, steel frame and all the power supply and all the cabling is underneath now what i'm going to do now is plug it into the computer make sure everything works and is functioning correctly and then i'll turn on the uh, camera and show you how it looks okay now i've got everything set up leveled the bed used repetor host to set up the printer make sure everything works correctly i'm just using the uh slice that comes with this particular program and I just started a print. Now I'm just using a 20mm by 20mm cube I just got off uh, Thingiverse just to see if it works and so far so good. Only issue that I've seen is sometimes when it's waiting to heat up some uh, plastic will come out of the extruder and do it up on the end and cause an issue when it starts printing but I'm sure I'll figure that out in due course but so far so good it's printing okay pretty happy with it so far. Okay about six minutes left into this print it says it's going to go for about 15 minutes so it's looking pretty good, it's 20 mil by 20 mil cube. And um, I've heard some other reports this about this actual printer being loud, but um, the fan, to be honest, but from my point of view, it, it's fine. I've heard some other ones and it doesn't sound any louder than that. So maybe they've updated that or changed it. There, there are two fans on top of the unit itself, as you can see there. And they are quite quiet as well. Nothing too dramatic, but so far so good. I do like the actual form factor of this and how big it is so well how small it is actually it's uh, not very big at all so here's a 300 millimeter ruler and as you can see there's 300 millimeters there so it's about 310 millimeters or just over 12 inches you know each way so that's pretty good and it is a little bit uh, higher so it's around about 360 mil high or in inches that'll be maybe 13 and a half just over 13 and a half inches so it's nice and compact and it does have a 160 by 160 build pl platform which is more than enough for me so uh, yeah it's a great starting printer and the good thing about it you don't have to build anything it's just plug and play a few settings need to change and you're ready to go but uh, I'll uh, show you this when it's finished okay so there is my first print with the me creator 2 I am complete novice and newbie to this so I'm not too sure if this is good but it does look quite good to me. It was printed at a uh, 0.2 layer height, the first layer height I have it in in the actual system here it says 0.35 so that's just what uh, the manual suggested. Now I've got this so I can measure exactly how accurate it is. It should be 20 mil by 20 mil so 19.56, 20.29, 19.6, 20.29 20.29 19.68 so I guess that's not too bad for the first print settings are stock standard and maybe this slicing program is not the best but I might start using something else but see if I can get that in nice and clear for you guys on the camera there we go it does look pretty good it's just a 20 mil by 20 mil test cube I like it pretty cool I did have an issue when it was uh, heating up that some of the plastic started to come out of the extruder and just building up and when it started to print it kind of got brought up uh, like pulled up onto the middle of the print and I'm not too sure why but I guess I'll figure that out anyone have any suggestions please let me know but my first uh, print for this awesome me creator 2 printer I think it looks awesome this is my first time using it I wanted to show you guys how it works and uh, yeah a real world test of a new block myself not knowing too much about uh, 3D printers, but really happy about this. I've got a lot of things to print, maybe certain stuff for RC models, the tanks, anything, maybe anything for drones or all types of stuff. So any questions, please leave them down below. I'll leave the link from Gearbest where I got this from. 
yeah, any tips, please leave them in the comment section. I would really appreciate it. But that's me, Steve here again from RC Tanks and Trucks 24-7. First of many videos, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.